Hello everyone, welcome back. On today's episode, we are going to work on a new filter of Popular, which is going to be placed over here, and it will allow us to filter by posts with the most number of likes, right? So basically, Popular posts by our viewers. So if a post has more likes, it will be shown at the top of the list, right? Now, I already have liked a few of the posts with another user, so this one has two. Some of them have one. If I go to page two, some have zero, okay? So Basically, once we activate this popular filter, we should see all the ones with the most like at the top, right? So let's go ahead and start by implementing this. So the first thing I would like to do is actually add the filter button over here. Now, one thing we could do is we could go ahead and use the exact existing buttons we have for the popular one. Okay, so we could do something like this. Now, for the popular, I actually want it to be a checkbox instead of something like this. And the reason is... I actually still want to be able to toggle oldest and latest while we have the popular checkbox. Okay, so that's why I'm not going to go ahead and use this button. I think visually it might confuse the user. So we are going to use a checkbox instead. Now, we can create our own checkbox blade components, but luckily since we are using Jetstream, it already comes with a checkbox. And we can double check that by going inside views, uh, components. And if you guys scroll down, there should be a checkbox somewhere around here. Now, if you're on VS Code or PHP Storm, uh, you can also do uh, on VS Code, at least I believe it's Control P or sh uh, Command P if you're a Mac. And you can just search for it that way if you want to quickly find if it exists or not. But otherwise, you can just find it over here, okay? So there is already a checkbox uh, blade component. There is also a label blade component already. So we're going to use these two instead instead of creating our own so let's go ahead and do that guys i'm going to go ahead and add this checkbox over here now this one is a self-closing element so i'll just go ahead and close it over here and let's reload and let's see if it works it looks okay it looks better than the default uh, checkbox now the color is i believe it's either purple or indigo we do need to change that since our primary color on the template is yellow so let's open up the checkbox and find all the colors. Here we have text indigo. I'll make this one yellow. And then this one also yellow. Now make sure you have your NPM uh, dev running. So I do have it here. It's compiling my assets in the background or manually run NPM run build if you don't have it running. So let's reload. And now as you guys can see, it has the golden kind of yellow look. And next up, we need the label. And for this one, it's exactly called X label now this one we do need to a closing tag so let's go ahead and add that as well and then inside here uh, we can go ahead and let's see is it i'm spelling it correctly yep it is okay so this is label here we can go ahead and say uh, popular all right and so let's do a quick reload as you can see we get popular and then we have our checkbox right over here right just like this now we can maybe move it around maybe have the popular be on the right side let's see how it looks that way i guess i'll keep it like this for now later on maybe we can have some sort of uh, kind of border between these two so we can separate them but for now i think this is okay let's go and focus on our implementation instead so in order to have this popular filter guys i think i'm going to go ahead and just add a popular property on our liveware component so let's go ahead and find our php file it is going to be app livewire post list so let's open it up so previously we're inside our blade file and inside here we can go ahead and first define a public property for kind of managing the popular filter so i'll say popular now by default i set it to false obviously this should be a boolean okay so very important and then in order to actually perform the filter we can go ahead on where we are getting all the posts and we can do something similar to what we did for the active category basically use this when function and pass it in ever popular okay so if popular is false or null it will not perform the search right or it will not basically apply the filter if it isn't null and it is true it will go ahead and basically filter by popular post so here we need to pass it in a closure exactly the same thing we did with active category okay guys exact same thing i'll come over here and then once we are inside in order to filter by popular post basically what we need to do is we need to get the like count for all the posts and then we need to order by like count right so that's basically what we need to do now you may be able to do this in a few different ways in laravel i think the easiest way is the way i'm going to show it to you guys at least the easiest way to understand okay 
So we can go ahead and get this query, right, which is basically our model. And Laravel comes with, or Eloquent basically comes with a method called with count, right? And it does basically what we have, we mentioned here. It will add the like count or a relationship count to all the items on your database, okay? So here we can say with count likes. Now, what you pass in here needs to be a relationship you have defined on your model. So on our post model over here, as you guys can see, and by the way, I had some question guys asking me how I kind of go to, to these posts. Uh, I'm actually holding command and then I'm clicking on it. If you're on Windows, I think you need to hold control and then click on it. Okay. So if you may notice once I'm pressing it, it changes from the cursor to a hand. Okay. So I'm hitting command. If you're on Windows, hold control. You may need to play around with this and then click on it. It'll basically goes to that file. Uh, you don't need to install the PHP IntelliFence plugin for this to work, but that's how you would do it. So you do need to make sure you have uh, this relationship defined. So here we have the likes relationship. I'll come over here. I'll pass it in. So what this will do is this will go ahead and add basically a likes count to all our, to our basically query. Okay, so now we have access to this likes count and we can go ahead and use it to order our elements. So here, once I do with count, I can come over here and say order by this likes count. So basically the format for this is your relationship name followed by underline and then count. So that's the format, okay? So here I can go ahead and put this in over here and then order it by descendingly. Basically we want the post with the highest number of likes to be at the top, right? So that's why we use descendingly. And I remove all the comments. But basically that's all we have to do now later on we can move this into a scope for now let's keep it as is and that's all we have to do that's that's it so now one more thing to me, keep in mind guys in my sql or in laravel itself eloquent you can actually have multiple order buys right you can have five six but the positioning of these order buys matters okay so the order of these does matter so because we have this order by by published at first it will actually first order by published at then second by likes count which is not what we want so we need to actually move this at the bottom so it's the last thing applied okay you'll actually get different results if you have published at at the top or at the bottom so something to be aware of so that's all we have to do now this won't make anything happen if i press it so the next thing we need to do guys is uh, we can just go ahead and do wire model uh, popular okay that's it that's all we have to do. So just add a wire model and that's it. Let's go ahead and do a reload. Now, if I'm clicking on this, guys, it doesn't seem to be changing anything. Is it changing anything? Let's double check. Let's go back. Uh, I click on popular. Now, nothing is happening. The reason is we don't have this be live. So in this case, we have to do modern model like live. So the changes happen as we update it, okay? Otherwise, we need to click on some pagination button or something to apply the filter. So right now, if I click on it, uh, we see one with one like at the bottom. So I am on page one. I click on popular again. Now we have two likes at the bottom, okay? So I have multiple posts with two likes. If I go on page two, we still see the one with two likes. Then we see the ones with one like. Let's go on page three. Still the one with one like. Then we see the one with zero like, right? Now, while we have the popular filter on, we can also filter by oldest and latest. But still, this shows the one with, our, with two likes that are published the latest, okay? But still, the primary filter or the primary sort is uh, the number of likes. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you can disable these two buttons when you have popular active. I don't mind it. I don't think it's a big issue. But if you think it makes the application confusing for the users, you can definitely go ahead and disable these buttons once you have popular active. For now, I think I'll keep it as is. So that's it, guys. Now that we have the functionality working, the next step for us would actually be to refactor this a little bit more. Okay. So first step, let's go ahead and move this popular actually inside the scope. I don't like to do the logic over here. And again, we may need to re redo this or reuse this in some other places. So I don't want to, uh, you know, have to write the code again. We can do the exact same thing we did with category. So let's open up our post model. I'm going to add a scope for popular. So it's going to be similar to the scopes we already have. So I'm just going to copy the one of the existing scopes. I'll add it under future. So it is going to be scope. Uh, popular you can name it whatever you like guys trending or i don't know 
whichever you like, most liked, it's up to you what you name it. I'll go with popular and then we can copy uh, the logic we have over here. Okay, so I'll just copy it from here. Let's come down and I'll paste it in. And that's all we have to do. Yeah, that's all, that's all we have to do. So now inside our library component, we need to go ahead and say query popular. And that's it. So super simple. Now we have refactored this and this is reusable anywhere else we need it. So let's do a reload. Make sure it still does work over here. So I'm on page one. I'll toggle it off. Yeah, we get the one with one like. If I toggle it on, we get two likes. So it does seem to be working as well. All right, next thing I would also like to do, guys, we haven't done this so far. I would also like to add, move this search we have into its own scope as well. I don't like to do searches like this. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Should be a real quick and easy thing to do. So I'll just copy this. Come down here and we are going to create a new scope of search. And for the logic, I'll again, I'll copy it from here actually. Why not? So let's copy this. Let's come down here. I'll paste it in. Now, when searching, we do need to get the search query. Okay, so I'll add that as well. Now by default, I set it to empty string search. So we are saying query where uh, title like, and instead of this dot search, we need to do refer to this search variable over here. Now, if you guys would like, you can go ahead and also add another or where for maybe the body content of the article or maybe the slug. If you like, for now, I think the title should be more than enough. Okay, so I'll just keep it for the title now. But this gives us the functionality to add more if we need. For now, I'll keep it as is. So let's go back and here we can say search this dot search and uh, i believe that's all we have to do very nice guys so this looks a bit neat more neat uh, smaller and obviously we can reuse these popular uh, search and bit category anywhere else we need on our application so let's reload make sure everything is working i'll search for a lot of it is indeed working and if i click on popular and unpopular obviously should not impact anything the search should still work so the way we have set things up right now we have the ability to basically search and still apply the latest and all this also apply the popular and unpopular on our search results which i think is pretty nice okay and i can for example select php by category and still apply by popular so that does still work okay so i think that's all we have to do so let's save things up so that's it guys for today's episode now there are still some issues we have right now one of them is we have an n plus one problem especially with our authors okay and also our categories so this will definitely cause performance issues if you have a lot of posts per page so on the upcoming episodes i'm definitely going to show you guys how to do eager loading we are also going to take a look at caching some of the unchanging items we have on our application that never change so those are things that is going to be uh, i'm going to be covering on upcoming episodes but i think for today's episode we already covered quite a bit so that's it guys if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below as always if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos and i see you guys on the next episode have a great day bye